People are stalking their celebrity crushes and asking them out. It's weird. So I'm going to be looking at the three most extreme cases of this, starting with Mr. Manny. Manny says that he's an awkward, nice guy just trying to make it. Lol. This gentleman came across my recommended with a video called I asked Olivia Rodrigo to prom. She said yes. Give me your number. We oh. Yeah, that's me. And he actually does it. But before we get to that historical moment, we got to go back to the 22nd of July, 2021. Where where Manny posted the video, listens to Olivia Rodrigo once. You've probably seen one of those videos before where you act like a crazy, over-exaggerated fan of a musical artist and it just makes for a little funny video. Nothing wrong with that. Looking at the views that he was getting around this time, I'm assuming that this one did extremely well for his normal views and this may have flicked a switch in his lizard brain. He continues his YouTube journey by filming with Matthew Beam. Wow. Selling an NFT and asking out women because he was inspired by Jack Harlow. This guy had something that nobody else did. Boring content. But since his Olivia Rodrigo video did a lot better than his regular ones and she was on her sour tour, he decided that he would go to her concert, well, with his three-step master plan and pop the question to ask her to go to prom. Spoiler alert, he's... It's really weird. And this is his reasoning behind it. I never got to experience prom, but it's okay. Because Olivia also missed a prom because of COVID. <laughs> his philosophy is since Olivia didn't get to go to prom due to some silly, wacky little goofy virus that you are definitely sick of hearing about, and he didn't get to go either for the same reason, that they would go to prom together. Um, and then they would get married and make a sour candy brand and have child star children, you know, the circle of life. But to do this, he activates his three step plan. Three steps to this plan. Number one is to find the present for Olivia. Number two is to sneak in the concert because I don't got money like that. And number three is to obviously deliver the present to Olivia and ask her to prom. So... <laughs> this guy's three step plan is to one, get Olivia a present, two, sneak into her concert because I don't got money like that. He don't got money like that, so instead, he's going to commit a crime. Now that's outsmarting the system. Finally, he wants to ask her to prom, and this is where the whole prom fantasy starts. Asking her out and going to prom with one of the biggest musicians in the world just because Jack Harlow inspired you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with getting some confidence to finally ask out someone you like and shoot your shot. That is not what I am trashing on. I think that asking your crush out is such a fantastic thing to do. It helps you manage all those feelings that are built inside you, even if they do say no. Um, which they will, they will say no. <laughs> If they say yes, then that's incredible. And if they say no, then you can get rid of all of those built up feelings and you can make awkward small talk with them in class. What I don't love about this is how this little idea of asking Olivia Rodrigo out turns into this whole series of videos stalking his celebrity crush. Back to my Manny's video, he successfully sneaks into Olivia Rodrigo's concert. This is me in a sold out Olivia Rodrigo concert having the time of my life. Yay! Trespassing! His present, which is a stuffed animal gets taken away and put into dolphin is this a present yeah so the presents actually go in the red video. oh penis turkey <laughs> he even added a secret message inside that's not creepy at all hey olivia it's mr manny i feel like we're good for each other so would you like to be my prom queen that's a voiceover but i can imagine what the actual quality sounds like oh, oh, oh thank you so much that's so sweet uh -oh. <laughs> what what the fuck's it saying? This shit's ass! So after successfully sneaking into an Olivia Rodrigo concert and not paying at all, Manny is sad. He's sad because he didn't get to ask Olivia to prom. But again, the video does well. This short-term success must have been a huge motivator for Manny to make his unachievable dreams somehow come true. So as time passes by, Manny becomes really good at meeting famous people. He meets Eric, becomes really good friends with one of the members from his crew, and then uh, meets David Dobrik. So thank you. Yeah, man. The yeah. fact that you built me something, I know you're legit. Dude, I'm, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Bro. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Which like honestly did make me tear up a bit because it is quite wholesome. Like if I were to meet Guy Fury and give him a hug, 
I would shit my pants. <laughs> this just makes me so emotional. Oh. So after not long of a period of time, Manny became a master at sneaking in, stalking celebrities, and getting ignored by Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> but we've seen where he ends up, so there's always hope for you creeps out there. After asking out 100 girls on dates to get over his fear of rejection, and it worked. He got a lot of no's, but also a lot of yeses. So he was finally prepared and ready to forget to ask out Olivia Rodrigo. Wait, what? Okay. Dude, he actually met her. Yay! In the video, I asked Olivia Rodrigo on a date. Clickbait! The video begins with a brief, not at all creepy, overview and then a uh, plan to enter the Grammys pre-show party to try and spot Olivia herself. He goes there and voila! He spots her. Olivia! Olivia, what are you gonna cry? Take me with you! And if you haven't realized it by now, this guy is... Nuts. This guy has tried to ask out Olivia Rodrigo two times already and both times have failed miserably, but he follows one of life's greatest rules. And this is a quote that I would love to read to you from Manny today. Never give up. When it comes to asking out the hit Disney child actor turned successful pop rock musician Olivia Isabel Rodrigo to go to prom with you. It's one that I'd live by. So yes, this guy does actually end up meeting Olivia Rodrigo and in all fairness is shitting himself because he, asking her out is, it, that's very awkward and very hard to do. He was nervous, it, it, it's okay. There are some things about this guy that are likeable and then there's some things where it's like... Uh, Hello. So as Olivia is leaving, he tries his hardest to give her his flowers, but um, it doesn't work. I got her roses! I got her on the sidewalk! Next time, Manny, try killing the security. Might make it a bit easier. So after a third failed attempt, you would think that this guy would have just given up. But I'm not gonna lie, I want to give up so bad. However, I want to ask Olivia out to prom, so... Ah! So after leaving a sour taste in my mouth, he goes to get his guts spilled. <laughs> the next day, we went to the Grammys and tried getting in with Photoshop tickets and they have the best security. Be Bro, just fucking pay for something, you donkey. That's a whole nother thing where YouTubers are just trying to sneak into events for free. Don't do that. That's really dumb. Leave a like and I'll sneak into Mr. Manny's house and subscribe and I'll ask him to prom. Anyway, he finds another way to sneak in by going through the car park and up an elevator until he makes it into the after party, but it's apparently the wrong party. And that's because they went to an even more exclusive after party. I wanted to give up so bad. However, in a couple weeks, Olivia is going to the Billboard's Women in Music Awards. Uh, no. Just leave her alone, man. Like. Seriously, this is getting obsessive. It makes my skin crawl. It's genuinely just so weird and gross. He somehow sneaks his way into the woman billboard of music event, which is like, just get out of there. Where he meets a bunch of famous celebrities like Sabrina Carpenter, <laughs> Lana Del Rey, and Madison Beer. Hi, Madison. Hi. Uh, is it cool to take a selfie? Thank you. Okay, he he added that music. That was not me. But before he forgets to pop the real question, we finally get an answer as to why he wants to do this so bad. As Olivia was getting closer, I was getting more nervous. I'm just a regular guy trying to ask out his celebrity crush to prom, especially since COVID ruined every aspect of my high school experience. This was the opportunity to get closure. His explanation is that he just wants closure. He never got to go to prom and that must have sucked, but it is fine. You don't have to go to prom. I never went to prom and look at me. I turned out just fine. In other news, it's time for Manny's man moment. Hey, Olivia. Hi. Is it cool if I get a five sure, second video yeah. for, for YouTube? Okay, that time it was me. So he met her and it wasn't too weird because he didn't ask her out to prom. In my opinion, that's a huge 
Do, when you just made your celebrity crush and got a clip for your YouTube video out of it. That's amazing. You won. Good for you, Manny. You look happy and healthy. But not me, uh, if you ever care to ask. But you guessed it, he wasn't happy. His only life goal is to ask her out, so by golly, he will do what he set out to do. Even if he's added to every single no entry list and has to wear a funny ankle bracelet for the rest of his life. So that'll be fun. We finally made it to the big moment. I asked Olivia Rodrigo to prom. She said yes. And oh boy, am I excited to see how he makes Olivia feel uncomfortable again. Dude, she must remember him by this point. Like... She would see a lot of fans every day, I'm guaranteeing that, but this guy is in a suit and tie every time. He held out his camera with a clip-on mic and recorded her two times, so she would definitely remember him by this point. I can only feel bad for Olivia in this situation. The video begins with a cold open of him asking her out, and Olivia saying, Give me your number, we can- oh! Yeah, that's me. Apparently the stalking paid off, and she wants his number. So congrats, Manny, on being totally super weird. He actually did it! Then somehow, Olivia follows through. In the follow-up video, Olivia Rodrigo texted me. Manny sums up everything. Olivia Rodrigo texted me. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing, bro? Like, bro, what the what? My gosh, is this real life? And it's so crazy that this all started a month ago when I asked Olivia to prom. I've always wanted to go to prom. Really? I didn't go to prom either. Okay, That's well, why I was like... Give me your number. We can... uh, and I gave her my number. This is part I was being serious. Fast forward one week and safe to say I got ghosted by Olivia Rodrigo. That's not everything. Trust me. Or don't. You can do what you want. Anyway, he comes across a podcast where he gets brought up. So I got a DM saying that Olivia talked about me. You got asked to prom? Oh <laughs> my recently. gosh, yeah. Yes, he added that music again. We all know what you're up to, Manny. You sneaky little squirmy little man. Oh <laughs> my recently. gosh. Okay, sorry for pausing, but if I am Olivia in this situation and I watch this video back and hear romantic, sexy music over me just fucking talking, I would not text your ass back. Also, these two frat bros are not stable human beings. This guy is holding a prime bottle and still has my haircut from five years ago. And the other guy... Um, actually, he looks pretty cool. Then he gets a call from Olivia's head of management saying that they would love to get his contact information. So the boys aren't sure at first, so they go to the address from the email and they say... He is a real person and he is responsible for her security. He'll be with her in more time. So this is real? That's uh, real. Well, I would just reply back to the email yeah, and see if you can call him. I've really got a cracker. <laughs> from my, <laughs> my team ago? <laughs> That's crazy. Like I said, I would not text your ass back. Thank you. That is the best joke I've ever made. I've just peaked so hard. Uh, so yeah, it actually does seem like a real email. And after contemplating what just happened to him. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is life, dude? Bro, it pays off being a simp. Ah, oh, don't say that. That's what I was gonna say. I don't think that the last few months of your life that have been revolving around L Olivia Rodrigo, uh, what you would call simping, it's probably stalking. Anywho, he gets a text from what could be an old pedophilic man, and then he hears a voicemail. <laughs> hey Manny, it's Olivia. Sorry I missed you. I'm on vacation. It's been a while. Can you text me anytime? I love you so much and I hope you have the best day. Bye. Towards the end, it kind of sounded real. Shut up. At the start of the voicemail, it sounded kind of off, but then it ended up sounding actually pretty real, so... I don't know. This is crazy, and after contemplating this for a while, Manny and his friends decide that this must be real. Things advance. Oh, that's a good word. When he gets a call from Olivia's security. She reached out when we advised her not to. She likes you. She explicitly told me she, she plans to keep in touch with you here and there. That seems pretty legit, dude. There's no way this could end up being one big old prank that gets pulled on him. What? That was AI? That's gotta be the most advanced AI of all time. Shut up. Dude, if that's AI, <laughs> that's gotta be the most advanced AI of all time. So Olivia has actually never called Manny, which is messing with his head and is the main reason as to why he's starting to get suspicious. After a Google of Olivia's security company, he gives them a call and everything is revealed. Yeah, so uh, I just wanna make sure that I'm talking to your client. Um, I wanna give you the number that I've been texting that claims to be Olivia. Unfortunately, we will get, we confirmed that the information that you have been given was not correct. 
Wait, really? Every, every, everything's been fake? 100%. Oh! That stinks! So yeah, it was all fake. This completely shocks Manny, and he is finally done. It feels like the walk of shame. I got bamboozled. There's no other way to put it, and it sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to give up very terribly. And honestly, whoever pranked me, I'm not gonna let that person stop me. And it's not even that I had this huge crush on Olivia. Just stop, you creep! He keeps doing this, not just because he likes her, but because he and Olivia never got to go to prom. This is just extremely creepy stalker behavior. It's not being a simp or anything else that you describe it as. It's straight up stalking. All the comments are cheering him on and there is not one comment that I can find about this being just a little bit weird. After this video, he made a YouTube short out of this whole situation, which got 30 million views. Thumbs up over here. <laughs> now let's get you up to date. A month later, he posted a video called I invited Olivia Rodrigo to prom, which I'm just gonna show you the ending of. Before I even say anything else, I just wanna say Olivia, two months, two months of life-changing events that really altered the course of my history. You stalked her! <sighs> it's been two months. Two months since Olivia has changed my life. Here's her sleeping. Oh. And here's her putting on socks. You could almost see her toes in this one. Then here she is getting out of the shower. <laughs> then the final video. Hopefully. Did Olivia Rodrigo go to prom with me? I'll sum it up for you. Yes. He went with some other girl instead. So good for you, man. Knee. <laughs> Anna Ortega is standing right in front of me and I want to ask her out on a date. Now that you're in this rabbit hole, there is no way of getting out of it. And next in command is Manuel Bozo. Taking one simple look at this guy's channel page, what celebrity would you say that he has a crush on? Me? No. Jenna Ortega. The actress for Wednesday Addams. When Wednesday blew up, every single straight man that watched the show was instantly hooked. Not because it's an actually good show, but because of Jenna. Wednesday Addams is actually played by Jenna Ortega and... Jenna Ortega, if you're watching this... <laughs> An amazing actress who had people left, right, and center gawking at the opportunity to date her. But none were more insane than Manuel. In case you've been living under a rock. Wait, have, have I seen this guy somewhere before? Shut up! So this guy lives in the same house as Mr. Manny himself. Everything is connected. They both live together and have both become popular due to asking out their celebrity crushes, which... They must have planned. Hey bro, I just got an idea that will help us get the girls of our dreams and us to become millionaires. Oh, okay, what is it? We're gonna find our celebrity crushes and stalk them so we can ask them out on a date and record that footage to get millions of views. Dude. I was thinking the exact same thing! Ha 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 dude! <laughs> ah, poggers! This is a good idea. So some backstory for this particular weirdo. He started his channel with a series called Road to Gold. Oh yeah! And he was Jack. So he is a personal trainer, coach, and athlete which is something that I would not expect from a guy three years later would be stalking Jenna Ortega. He experiments with a bunch of different content, ending up in an earache video. This is where all people go downhill. Where he gets a supermodel girlfriend and then gets dumped. It's a good video and YouTube noticed it because it has over a million views today. So after seeing some success from doing videos with supermodels and trying to get a girlfriend, this guy posted something that nobody expected. I asked Jenna Ortega out on a date. In case you've been living under a rock and don't know who Jenna Ortega is, she's taking the Hollywood world by storm. She's gonna be attending an event called the Golden Gloves and I'm gonna be sneaking in. Of course you are. And no, I didn't get an invitation, but it didn't matter. I come from nothing and for me to talk to someone who is literally everything at the moment, it was the ultimate underdog story. Here we go, baby. The sad backstory. Just like Mr. Manny, this guy throws in his backstory and why he wants to ask out Jenna Ortega. Not so he seems like a big weirdo. Manuel explains that he came from nothing. He was a poor child, 
living in Cuba, so this is the reason why he should be able to date the most popular celebrity in the world. It's a smart way to disguise his true intention. We all know he's doing this because he just wants attention, views and subscribers, but also notability that he asked out Jenna Ortega. I honestly thought all hope was lost. We were able to sneak into the most secure event in Hollywood history, and yet we came short of the goal. That's until I saw Jenna Ortega. Oh my god! Hi Jenna! 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 There she was. Jenna Ortega. Marry me, Jenna. Manuel and his friend get Jenna's attention and she politely comes on over because she is a genuinely down-to-earth person. So he shoots his shot and misses horribly. Freedom Moro by any chance? Oh, God damn, please stop. But he doesn't and he asks again. Would you like to grab a cup of coffee by any chance? Would you like to grab a cup of coffee by any chance? Okay, no worries. But this guy is over the moon. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah, sir, we got rejected, but it's okay. This is out. We did it, sir. Great job. We did it, man. I appreciate you. That's his magnum opus, and it's a hard one to watch, but it's a fine video overall. He asked her out, she said no, and he moved on. Right? Right? Right. This man's mental health over the next few years slowly deteriorates as he turns into madness. It's sad to watch. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This video does extremely well, getting over 3 million views and a short that he made out of the situation, getting 37 million. Not including another one that got 50 million. This situation was a huge win for Manuel. He asked out his celebrity crush, got a lot of views and subscribers, and all he had to do was move on. But here's where it gets weird. Five videos later, this video comes out. I know what you're thinking. How does a kid from the streets of Cuba get onto one of the biggest shows in the world? I'll tell you how. One word. You just gotta get creative. Bro, that's five words. Shut the fuck up. Wednesday Adams season two full teaser trailer, which is just straight up clickbait. This video comes out highlighting in a trailer like format, uh, Manuel and his experience to get onto season two of Wednesday. It shows him breaking in for a window of an old building where I'm assuming that the show was shot. Him dressing up as a construction worker and more of his backstory. Just out of nowhere, this guy is obsessed with Wednesday Adams again. He changes his profile picture and banner to be themed like Wednesday and then this video comes out. I audition for Jenna Ortega's show Wednesday. Today is the day where I try to sneak into the Oscars so I can talk to the cast of Wednesday and ask them if I can be on the show. Today is the day that Manuel will get his cheeky little fingers on Wednesday. He sets up the stakes for this video saying that this is the most secure event in Hollywood. But we have to get in. He's gonna break it. Then two minutes into the video he finds this. And I found Jan Ortega's acting coach. If there's anyone who knows how to get onto a show, it would probably be him. There we go, the lucky ticket. He emails this guy every single day and gets no response. But so we'll come back to that. Firstly, Manuel decides to finally open up to us to give us the primary reason as why he is doing all of this insane nonsense. I'm gonna be honest with you for a second. I know I haven't done things always the right way, but I've always believed that my intentions are, are good. Like when I asked Jenna Ortega out. Would you like to grab a cup of coffee by any chance? Would you like to grab a cup? Okay, I get it, but why do you have to keep the slow-mo footage in? So even though I haven't always done the right things, it's always been for the right reason. I'm going to try and use this thing called Empi-Fi to try and understand why he's doing this. He says that even though he hasn't always done the right things, it's always been for the right reason. Essentially stalking Jenna Ortega, begging the cast and crew to put you on Wednesday Adams, and being just a weird guy who w has no acting experience at all, so I don't even know why they would put you on the show. I, I don't understand it. It doesn't make what you're doing right. Manuel is on his knees praying that he gets on one episode of Wednesday. But what are your true intentions? Why are you really doing this? I have two brothers in Cuba. One of them is named Alejandro and the other one's named Alex. I love them so much. I want them to look up to me. And even though right now I'm not the role model they need, I'm trying. In Cuba, every Saturday, they play a big movie or a big TV show. How cool would it be if one of the Saturdays they're able to see their brother up there? This is what he says is his true reason for doing all of this. 
his family. He wants to make his brothers proud. He wants them to see him on TV. But doing terrible things is not going to make your brothers proud. Do you want your brothers to see you on TV when deep down you know you did some kind of sketchy things to be able to do so? Or would you prefer to make valuable videos and connect with an audience through using your genuine persona? I'll leave you to think about that, but Jenna Ortega's old acting coach actually agrees to meet up with Manuel. They go on over to the studio, meet up, and after doing some stellar acting work... You said no strings. Good. Move on to phase two. I'll sum up the majority of this one so you don't have to sit through this dog shit like I did. Manuel travels to Romania. Not for that reason. He travels to the same location that Wednesday season one was filmed in and shows us all of the locations where the show took place. Between that, he gets a follow from someone who was cast in the show, so he messages him and calls him. This call can very much determine my fate whether I get onto this show or not. I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. It's the same amount of stress that I've been feeling the last couple of months where I've been trying to get onto this show. And something that's helped me stay on track and be mentally clear has been today's video sponsor. Are you actually serious? <laughs> Why? He made this into a sponsorship. I swear to God. He says that he's going through a lot of stress because he's trying to get on Wednesday season two. So thanks, better. There is a very easy fix for that. Stop. There actually might be a gas leak in my room and there's nothing wrong with what these guys are doing. But I think there is. The actor agrees to meet up with Manuel. So later that evening, they do. What's up, man? We're <laughs> What's up, man? Meet Victor, aka Thane. That's right. The one person who answered our DM and gave us their time was Thane. This is actually insane. They meet up with Victor, who plays the character Thane. The hand from Wednesday that is somehow connected to this guy's arm. Can you believe it? They sit down for a conversation and Manuel gets some honest advice. If you chase the dream so hard, you'll get attached to it and it's not good. You just have to be happy to do whatever you can. Sometimes life gives you what you need to pursue your direct. Not your dream, your direct. I bought your gift. <laughs> no way. Incredible advice. If you chase a dream so hard, you get attached to it and it becomes unhealthy. Manuel is chasing his dream and there is nothing wrong with that. I can empathize with that. Being a YouTuber has been my dream since I was a little kid. And sometimes you do the wrong things and you mess up, but you have to detach. If you want your dreams to come true, you have to be patient. Some people get lucky and get everything that they've ever wanted right away. But if you have a dream that takes years or even decades to finally achieve, that just means that you have a burning desire to do it for the rest of your life. Not just asking out Jenna Ortega so you can make some money off a YouTube video or stalking the cast of Wednesday so that you can get on the show. That was so freaking deep. I'm saying this is kind of a big moment right now. I have a friend who knows about the series and he got me connected to someone who works at Netflix. Hello? Hi, is this- Quick, pretend to be shocked. <gasps> I've had to delay this video twice because it had been over half a year and there was nothing. In the meantime, he started a petition, so that's cool. Totally signing that. Then on January 17th, 2024, he returned. Wednesday Adams, new official movie trailer. I know that what I'm about to say is going to sound crazy. But I think I can make this dream a reality. He's back, baby! Mom, he's back! So he films this short little trailer and then ends by explaining his final plan. This was a sneak peek for a short film that I'm making. Once a short film is done, we're gonna get a movie theater and we're gonna have a premiere for it. I'm talking a red carpet and all, and all that fancy shit. He's making a short film and then releasing the final episode of the series on February 13th. So I think it's finally time we end this. And I finally have some pretty good news. Dude, come, come upstairs, come upstairs, come upstairs real quick. You're scaring me. Are you on Wednesday or what? All right, let's see your friend. Give me your friend. No, you're, you're good. Gross. Do you see this profile right here? Yeah. That's the casting director of Wednesday. Look who they're following. What? Oh, no, bro. That's, that's real. That's big. That's big.
If I ever saw this group of goons in public, I would sprint so fast in the opposite direction. That's pretty big news. This begins painted in a way where this actually seems possible. Manuel might actually pull this off. So he texts her and she leaves his message on scene. He looks up some advice to get her attention and to persuade her to let him on the show. Then he comes up with a genius free step plan. What is it with these guys and free step plans? Step one, make a movie. Step two, invite her to the premiere of the film. Step three, she is so impressed that she hires me to be an actor on Wednesday. I win an Oscar and then I bring it back to Cuba. This should be pretty simple. Yeah. That's what the movie is for. After filming the movie and finding a perfect actor to play as Wednesday, they move on to step Number two. Now that the film's done, we need to invite everyone from Netflix, and most importantly, the casting director, and see who shows up. All of this to get onto a freaking show. I mean, at least he knows he's insane. After <laughs> handing out flyers to random citizens and sending a text to the casting director, it's finally time for them to sit down and watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he adorable? That's my big boy! <laughs> they watch the movie, but the casting director, no surprises here, doesn't arrive. <gasps> Manuel finally gives up. Oh wait, what's this? The casting director didn't show up, but she still does follow me, and I sent her the film. And hopefully she likes it, and she's like, okay, this kid's pretty crazy, maybe we'll give him a shot. But if she doesn't, I'm not waiting for her. I'm gonna keep auditioning for all these other TV shows. I won't stop until I say a line in a Hollywood TV show and movie. That's it, like, I, you're gonna have to kill me. Somebody kill me. He ends the series with a shot of a big whiteboard with all the shows that he's gonna try and get onto next and all of the celebrities that he's gonna try and ask out. Fingers crossed I'm next. This insane case is finally over, but there's still one more person who I've been afraid to talk about. One person who stalked and uh, terrorized this celebrity. And I, I don't even know if I want to, but here it is. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm about to ask out Guy Fury on a date. How did I get here, you are asking? I know that you're asking that. I can hear everything you say. I started off by doxing him, killing his entire family, and now I'm gonna suck on those frosted tips. <laughs> Leave me alone, you bitch! I wanna make out with you slowly! <laughs> Don't say goodbye.